Hello everyone. So today we gotta take out the carburetor and try to clean it and to see if anything that we need to adjust and uh, any unusual thing that may or may not need to repair too. So um, definitely the first thing is to take it out and uh, we'll take it to the bench and uh, work on it. Okay, that's the carburetor. Not that difficult to remove, just two screw holding it there. <coughs> Let's go uh, do some cleanup. Okay, so um, I don't have a carburetor kit, but uh, at least I think I'm going to open up the, the bolt here and look inside the flow and try to clean all this. So I might not want to go as deep as I want, but let's just try to clean it. Okay, I'm going to do some research and uh, see how other people do this and uh, we'll come back and uh, experiment a little bit more. By the present day, this is definitely not good. I'm going to use a lot of uh, carburetor cleaner. I think they will clean out pretty nicely. Okay guys, so... Uh, I did some search online and uh, I found the diagram of the carburetor. Now, um, I don't know if you can see this. This is the part number of the carburetor. It's actually printed in here. So hopefully you can see it. And I cross reference it's a Tecumseh carburetor. So we found it. The corresponding carburetor uh, diagram. Now what I see is I don't see this copper tubing in this diagram at all. It's supposed to be around here, right? I don't see any. So, um, or well, I'm no expert, but I don't know why and how, but but it's there. It's kind of crooked and all this. Uh, because um, I also try to find a replacement carburetor or carburetor rebuild kit for this part and it's just not available so it will not be wise to uh, further disassemble this thing I'm just going to put it back together for now until I have any other solution or fully understand this whole thing better um, the condition didn't seem that bad actually and I, you know all the parts seem to be good so I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning and uh, cleaning out all the exterior dirt and all this as well. Put it back in for now. Uh, I'll worry about it a little bit later when we have fuel going into uh, the carburetor in there. Okay? Okay, so uh, I have clean enough, and uh, like I say, you know, I'm not very sure what's the purpose of this little cup of, cup of tube in here. Definitely isn't not the original one. I would guess someone must have tried to uh, fix something. Uh, the good news is that this spread into it, and uh, you know, it's, it's clear. So I'm going to leave it, I'm not going to do anything about it for now. Definitely need to do more research or if someone know about this, let me know. I also take out the idol and clean it the idol already. So um, apparently it's pretty easy, just have a loosen this nut in here. Uh, I'm just going to put it back like this for now and uh, after I tune the idol, I can just put it right back. So that's pretty easy. Um, the rest, 
all the thing I can spray, I spray, uh, clear, I clear. I didn't disassemble further. I took apart the, I think it's the jet. And I already clean it. Even the hole, all is uh, clear. So, time to put everything back. Okay, so uh, after playing around the tap, the flow tap there a little bit, and uh, I was able to uh, get the flow installed and all. So this is the 1164 true bit. Uh, you know, I think I read somewhere if we don't have the Tecumseh uh, cover the truth for a gauge, you can use this to roughly get a same basement. So I can slide in and out, just barely touching a little bit. So that should be good, right? So uh, I'm not gonna do more on this, so let me finish up to put this back together. I think this uh, gasket is still good. It's nice and slurred. Okay, so put that back in. Okay, I'm going to put this back in too, the wash is still here, good. Okay, so tight and uh, I don't think I need to be tightening this so much. So that's it. I think I'm done with the build, cleaning the carburetor and uh, just have to adjust the idle. So put it all the way in. Back in about a little bit more than one, I guess. Okay, I'll leave it like that for now. So I'm ready to put this thing back to the motor. So I put the carburetor back on, which is very easy. And uh, it's taking a little time longer than expected to uh, research on this carburetor to clean and. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so I think I'm gonna call it a day for today. Okay, thank you for watching for today, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated in the next video. Uh, please leave me some comments, uh, share some information with me if you have any, and uh, if you don't mind, subscribe will help support me, and I'll definitely put out more interesting video. Thank you.